Hey, Miyamoto. I, you you want to put me in charge of this? Of the negotiate? You're really that worried? Okay. All right, fine, fine. I'll, 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 dude, I'll get Capcom on the phone. We'll, we'll make it happen, okay? I, I don't know how, okay? I, that's what you hired me for, right? Okay, Miyamoto. Calm down. Calm down. Go, go back and work on the Mario movie. We, 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 gotta, we got some, some deals to work out here, okay? Jeez, oh, man. So much panic over these purchases. I don't know if this is a good idea, but... Hey, Kenzo! Dude, how's it going? Oh, I'm Nate. Yeah, I work, I work at Nintendo. Yeah, I got, I got your number literally directly from the CEO. Yeah, dude. Fur, Furkov's a great guy. So, look... I got a proposition for you, okay? Nintendo is a little worried about these acquisitions that have been going on lately. You know, they, they've lost quite a bit of third-party games, especially from Microsoft, right? You know, they bought out, um, you know, gosh, I, I, it, there's been so many. I can't even tell, like Zenimax and Activision Blizzard. Yeah, dude, they're losing out on some major third-party games that were getting, you know, Spyro and Crash and Doom and all that, so... Oh, no, no, we're not worried about you getting purchased by others. I, I, I appreciate it, Kenzo, that you are not taking acquisition requests at this time. No, Sony buying Bungie doesn't really matter to us. That's that's Sony worrying about their own their own hide over there. But uh, I, I got a proposition for you. I know, I, Kenzo, relax, relax. I know, okay? We're, we're not worried we're about to lose Capcom games. Like, duh. We can work out another Monster Hunter deal, right? Like, we're all, yeah, okay. So I got something better for you than a Monster Hunter deal. How's five point two billion dollars sound? Oh, for the whole company. Uh, yeah, yeah. N Nintendo's that serious. We're, we're we're willing to take half of our cash assets right now, and buy and buy Capcom, make you part of Nintendo's team. Oh, don't worry. You can still make third party games for the first two years. Yeah. No, let's lo let's lock this deal in. So you won't you you're not even gonna bring this to your investors? What well, what's it gonna take? The release date of Breath of the Wild 2. You want me to give you confidential information about the release date? Hold on, let me put you on hold. Hey, hey Numa, how's it going? Yeah, remember? I was just hired yesterday. I'm I'm, I'm Nate. Yeah, yeah, you know that that YouTuber Nintendo Prime. Yeah, I'm. Okay, look, dude. So. I need to know the release date for Breath of the Wild 2. And no, it's not because I'm leaking it on my YouTube channel. There's no no breaking reports here. I, I need to know it. We need this for the Capcom deal. They just want to know. The CEO, Kenzo, buddy, he, he he's really asking. He won't broach the investors unless I tell him that release date because he really wants to play that game. By the way. Oh, no. Okay, okay. C can I know the title? I got to give him something. That's the title? Okay, okay. Calm down. All right. Keep professional. Nate, look. Look. Anuma. I need that release date. Don't worry, I'll make him sign a confidentiality agreement. Okay. So. Alright, alright, gotcha. Alright, yep. Thank you, man. Bye. Kenzo, my guy. Hey, uh, it's Nate again. I, I got that release date for you. Ready? Ready? Yeah, I know. Crazy, I know, crazy, right? Okay, so we got a deal then, right? Five point one billion. <laughs> you got me. You're right. I said five point two. All right, all right. Yeah, five point two. Are we good then? You're gonna bring that to your investors. We're gonna lock this in. Yeah, we'd like to make a press release tomorrow if we could. Absolutely. I right, thank you so much. Oh, you, you have a wonderful day yourself. All right, bye. No. Nintendo did not just buy Capcom for $5.2 billion. But it almost sounded believable. Nintendo, not maybe my little skit, but the actual headline, right? It sounded like a believable headline. Nintendo buys Capcom for $5.2 billion. And you know why it sounds believable? Microsoft bought ZeniMax for seven whatever million dollars, billion, million, billion dollars. Uh, and yeah, they just obviously bought Activision Blizzard for 68.7 billion. Oh, and then Sony just bought Bungie for 3.6 billion. So while money's flying around, it would seem only logical that Nintendo needs to answer because they are losing 
third-party multi-platform games. Although they did just get MLB The Show 22, that's right, it's coming to Switch. April 5th, there's gonna be a PlayStation Studio game launching day and date on Switch, and it's got full cross-platform play with PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X, which is insane to me, because that should mean that we don't have a lot of compromises in this game, especially from the frame rate perspective, because frame rates can obviously affect gameplay, although I expect some visual downgrades and stuff, but still, that's really, really big news. But how many more of these multi-platform games can we really expect? I mean, sure, we got Skywalker Saga coming out, the LEGO Star Wars game. Obviously, we are going to have Gollum and other things coming to Switch this year. NBA 2K should as well. But how long before all these studios are bought up and then suddenly the fight is over? Who can just make the most games for their given platform? Very interesting to think about because that might be the future we're heading for. Now, why won't these sales get blocked? Because obviously it has to form a monopoly. And if there's multiple companies able to buy up studios and get exclusive games, that's not what a monopoly is. You can call it a duality if you want between Sony and Microsoft, but then there's Nintendo, that third company in, and still some major uh, third-party multi-platform you know, companies out there from Ubisoft and 2K. I'm oh, sorry, Take Two, I think is what they're called. Take Two Interactive, not 2K. That's one of their that's one of their studios. Anyways, Take Two Interactive and EA and um, you know all, everything else in between. They're, the Tencent is floating out there as one of the richest companies in the world in video games. So there are so many options out there at this exact time for video games and video game makers. This isn't even getting into the mobile phone market as well, which is actually bigger than the home console market. And Valve with Steam and everything and the Steam Deck coming out. There's actually quite a bit of competition. So that's why none of these acquisitions are monopolies. But it does make you wonder, when's Nintendo going to actually respond and what are they actually going to do? Now, I don't think Nintendo's gonna make a Capcom level acquisition as much as a lot of you guys would like to see them do. Nintendo does have about $10 billion sitting in a bank, so they have the capital to buy Capcom that's worth about $5 billion in the market at this time, but that would require investors wanting to sell. So what companies could Nintendo realistic, realistically purchase? Well, they're not going to be companies that are exciting. They're actually not going to be companies that even move the needle. I'll give you one example of one company I do think Nintendo's just going to naturally you know, buy out in the next three years, Grezzo. Grezzo has been making a ton of Nintendo games from porting over Miitopia and obviously Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask 3D, but we also can't forget their work on Link's Awakening as well, and oh, on the Switch version, and oh, by the way, they help make Triforce Heroes. Grezzo has essentially been doing what Next Level Games was doing for many, many years and making games almost exclusively for Switch. They do have a couple side projects and indie games they've been making for other platforms, but reality is most of Grezzo's work has been for Nintendo. So it's a natural acquisition partner in the future, like Next Level Games was for them to do it. And that's the thing, Nintendo does buy out companies like this. Next Level Games, Retro Studios, believe it or not, they bought Retro Studios for $1 million. Right? What a, what a small amount of money considering the quality of games they've put out. Um, and, you know, obviously they bought Monolith Soft from Bandai Namco. It was originally a, an independent company bought by uh, Bandai that became Bandai Namco, then Nintendo bought them out in 2007. Fun little history there. I also think that there's that little studio sitting inside of Square Enix making games like Project Triangle Strategy coming up. Made games like Octopath Traveler. That little tiny studio there that makes Bravely Default as well. That could be a studio that Nintendo contacts Square Enix and go, hey, how much to buy that studio and the talent associated with it? Nintendo could make a smart purchase like that. But when I say smart purchases, these are low risk, low reward purchases. You're not really gaining a lot by buying these companies over what's already here, just higher profit margins on the games they're already making. So what can Nintendo do to answer? The question I, I think is the other way around. Microsoft is making acquisitions because they're trying to answer Sony and Nintendo. What are they trying to answer? The fact that those platforms have tons and tons and tons of exclusive games. Look at the top 10 best-selling games on Switch. Even Sony wishes they could pull the numbers Nintendo's doing. But that's because Nintendo is massively successful with their currently existing games. The problem we have to worry about is the future. And we know that there's more acquisitions coming. Sony's Jim Ryan has already come out today to say Sony is not done with their acquisitions, meaning they obviously have deals in the works with other companies that just aren't finalized yet. And Jeff Keighley came out and actually said that he's aware of several uh, acquisition deals that are in the final stages of negotiations. He wouldn't say who they're in the final stages of negotiations with, whether it's Sony, who Jim Ryan confirmed, Microsoft, who we know is willing to make deals, and then obviously there's Nintendo floating out there. We don't really know who's looking to buy who. 
but we know that it is happening. Um, Vivendi famously, you know, infamously, I suppose, tried to take over Ubisoft and failed. So there's a lot of companies out there. I, I believe it was Tencent who now has a major stake in Epic Games. If they don't outright own Epic Games, I kind of forget how that deal worked out and I don't really care to Google it up because I don't care that much about Tencent and Epic Games despite Fortnite and obviously the Unreal Engine. So my whole thing about all these acquisitions is this. Nintendo will have to do something at some point. What they have to do, I don't know. People think Microsoft should be buying out, you know, something like Platinum Games or some sort of Japanese studio, which it's very hard for an American company to buy out a Japanese company. There's a lot of laws and a lot of uh, ins and outs with that. But what is possible is obviously Nintendo buying out Japanese companies and then also buying out some Western ones. The thing is, Nintendo isn't Microsoft. They don't have a market cap of over $2 trillion. They're not even Sony, who has a market cap over $140 billion. However, I will say this. Despite Sony's market cap, their gaming sector only makes up about $14 billion of that market cap. Nintendo's actually got a significantly higher market cap primarily off video games than Sony does. So while Sony has been market leaders and all this stuff, Nintendo actually makes more money off gaming than Sony does. And it's not really even close. So if Sony's willing to make a $3.6 billion purchase, there's no reason Nintendo couldn't consider something like that. The thing is, what makes sense? There's a lot of companies you guys could probably throw it down in the comments. If I throw out what company you wish Nintendo would purchase down in the comments below. I'm very curious to actually hear your thoughts on all of this because I'm not so sure Nintendo needs to respond anytime soon. I think this is obviously a, a competitive thing happening right now. Sony and Microsoft gobbling up companies um, and Nintendo sitting there like, hey, we're really good at what we got and we don't really need anybody else. Also, at some point, it's going to suck when we don't get the Dooms and the Wolfensteins and everything else in between. You know, maybe Sega is something to consider. Although Sega is a little difficult because it's Sega Sammy. It's a combo corporation. Could they purchase just the Sega side of it, which would be cheaper? Or would they have to purchase the overall company, which does do more than video games? Uh, there's a lot to consider in a purchase like that. But the thing is, I don't know that Nintendo is willing to take such a risk. Nintendo has never made a massive purchase that is in the hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars, you know, into the billions. Like, we're talking about Nintendo making a purchase that is very un-Nintendo-like. But would they reap a lot of benefits from it? Let's say they did buy out Capcom for $5.2 billion. They would now own the Monster Hunter franchise. That IP alone could make Nintendo billions of dollars, right? Mega Man, maybe on Nintendo exclusive, could actually end up selling even better. At least Kirby numbers, if not better than that. There's a lot of things to consider when making acquisitions. And Nintendo isn't stupid when it comes to business. They do have a very business-oriented CEO right now. Shintura Furukawa is a business-first CEO. So he's aware of what's happening in that gaming landscape and wondering when Nintendo needs to respond. These acquisitions won't affect Nintendo's immediate but it could affect their next platform in some negligible ways. That's not gonna stop the fact that people wanna play Nintendo games, but can Nintendo make enough games for all time as these other platforms continue to gobble up more and more and more studios? That has yet to be determined. Anyways, folks, you guys let me know what you think about all this down in the comments below. Did you enjoy my little skit today? I was trying to have some fun. Um, you guys are awesome, and I'll catch you in the next video.